Pi. We are going to continue the setup of Raspberry Pi for stock analysis. If you haven't got Python 3.7 running on your Raspberry Pi, feel free to watch the previous video down in the description. Let's begin. Before we move on, let's upgrade the pip for the system. Make sure to include user for the pip upgrade. Hit enter and wait for the process. It's not going to take very long. Now, when we check the system's Python 3.7, we'll see the pip version 19.1. You may have different version depending on when you do the upgrade. We are now installing NumPy to the system. We do that here because NumPy is the most used package and we want to speed up the virtual environment creation process later on. It took me about 8 minutes to install NumPy to the system's Python 3.7. Also, you have the option to use NumPy even if you don't create any virtual environment. Usually, I would test running NumPy in system Python 3.7. If I don't get an error, I can use NumPy without problem. Here I'm showing you how to create a clean virtual environment. It's suitable when you want to build a Python environment that is completely different from your system Python. If you want to inherit packages, from your system Python, feel free to jump to 243. It took me 15 seconds to create environment test 372. I'm typing ls to list out all the folders, and you will see test 372 folder here. Let me activate the test 372 environment. Once you get into the environment, you will see a bracket wrapping around the environment name. In this environment, you won't see the system's NumPy package because you didn't specify the site package to install. Therefore, you need to deactivate the environment if you want to inherit whatever packages from the system. This is the folder that you are going to remove. Let me show you where it is. Here you go. Now, you've just removed the folder and you go back to the terminal. Simply use the dash m when command and specify the environment name which is test 372 and then add the system site package command then hit enter to create the virtual environment test 372. The environment test 372 will be created in 15 seconds. Now, run ls to check if you see test 372 in a home folder. Activate the environment and run pip list. You'll see a numpy package with the concurrent version. Here you can also upgrade pip in this environment as well. Run pip list and you'll see the most updated pip. Okay, then you can pip install pandas, which is a very useful package for data analysis. It's going to take a little longer than an hour, so grab a cup of coffee and relax. Now, you're getting back to the environment test 372. Just make sure no typo. Then you pip install pandas data reader and remember to use double equal 0 0.5.0. Hit enter and wait for about 15 seconds. Run pip list and you'll see pandas dash data reader dot 0 0.5.0. Pip install matplotlib for graphing. It takes about 8 minutes to install. Run pip list and you will see the matplotlib on the list. But just make sure you don't use the Python command to run the virtual environment. Here you will see all sorts of error messages when you run pandas data reader.
Let me get back to the test 372 environment again. This time, I'm using the environment with Python 3.7 label. See if what we get on IDLE. You import pandas first. It's good. Then you assign the is list like attribute to the pandas API types. And import pandas data reader dot data to grab data from web. Then try numpy, which is very useful for processing data. Import matplotlib if you need to graph. Great, no errors. Then we are ready for our stock analysis. If you like this video, feel free to leave your comment below and discuss. Thanks for watching.